Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.6. In this video, we're going to return to the example of raising virtual chickens and now improve it based on our knowledge and our understanding of the concept of white space within SugarCube 2.36. So as we previously saw with this example, we can use the print macro to print various things. And then as we saw with this example, we can print emoji. And we saw this within this passage, raise a chicken, where based on a value, chicken happiness, we are printing either an egg or a chick or a chicken. However, when we ran it, we noticed a problem. And let's revisit that problem so we can see how our new understanding of white space can help us here. So notice we have a little bit of space up here and raise a chicken, take care of a chicken, a little bit of space, but then notice as things happen, the emoji seem to move down the page. And this is a problem we've seen multiple times now. And this is an example of white space, extra space or extra lines produced by macros within SugarCube. Now SugarCube produces these extra lines, but also gives us the tools to help shape how we might want that extra space shown or not, depending on what we want to do. So we previously learned three different techniques for dealing with white space. We can use the silently macro around everything, and that will just nullify all possible output. We can also use the line continuations, that is we can continue one line to the next, and we can also use the no BR or no break rule macro to condense break lines, the one line to the next break rules, into just single spaces. Let's take those three different solutions and start to apply that knowledge to this particular example to make its presentation a little better. So one of the first things we can do is starting over here in the start passage, we can immediately use the backslash to create a line continuation. What we want to do is we want to sort of hide the macro usage, or at least not produce as many lines. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a backslash right here for line continuation. And notice Razor Chicken is now up on the same line, because as far as SugarCube is concerned, that macro line and the next line containing the link are now part of the same line, and so it all runs together. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to think very carefully about how we want to work with white space within this particular passage. And this poses a little bit of a problem. Potentially, if we weren't using the print macro multiple times, we could put all of this right here within the silently macro. However, because we're using the print macro and we want output, that isn't quite what we want. So we know of two different macros that can work with white space, silently being one of them and no BR, no break rule being the other. So what if instead we had all of these potential lines actually just condensed to a single space each time? And because we're using the print macro each time, we'll just have it print correspondingly. So now let's apply the no BR macro around all of this. So what we want to happen right here is to say don't print any break rules, the BR. Instead, just condense those all into a single space. So let's rerun this. We fix this. And now this is very clean. Notice that we condensed all of this down. So we didn't quite want silently, which would have ignored everything, we're instead of using no BR. And this is a great case for that particular macro. Again, we want no break rules, but we do want some spaces, and that allows us that compromise between them. So okay, let's return to this package. There's a couple more things we can apply here. So again, we don't necessarily want silently, or we could have done it in the start passage if we would wanted to use silently around that single macro, but that's a little bit of overkill and line continuation fixes that issue. Let's also fix the kind of spacing issue up here. We've got these multiple lines right here. So let's run these together. And now let's play. So raise a chicken now is up here at the top. And take care of chicken is now all combined. Those three lines of macros are now only one line. And down here using no BR, everything is much cleaner. So relatively simple, but extremely powerful. If we apply our knowledge of the concept of white space and our three different solutions we've seen with dealing with white space and sugar cube, using the silently macro, using the no BR, no break rule macro, and using line continuation, we can really improve our previous examples and shape that white space how we want it. Again, the white space is not necessarily a problem, and we can use our knowledge to shape how we want it presented to really make the best presentation to readers. Thanks for watching.